Hi, I'm Dewitt Pecker today. I'm going to show you how I make my own 6x6s at the cottage. And if you stick until the end, I'm also going to show you how I made this jig. So you will be also able to make your own 6x6s. If you've been following me for a while, you know that I love making concrete at the cottage. Last August was no exception. We finished the sidewalk that leads to our well. This is wonderful. On top of being so much cleaner. We also dug to remove a stump and also to bury this big rock. Now we're ready to continue our sidewalk over here, uh, but that will be for another time. We need to spread out the fun. But we also did some work that involved cutting some trees. This made me think that I could rip some wood just like I did for our loft. But instead of just being three inches thick, I could make some six by sixes. So all the big trees that we had to cut were transformed into 6 by 6s uh, Not all of them fell where I wanted them to. But once the tree is down, making a 6 by 6 with it is quite easy. I just need to use a wooden guide and the jig I made over 20 years ago. When the first cut is done, I turn the log, nail the guide to it, and make another cut. I do this on the four sides. And just like that, I have my first 6x6. But we cut even more trees that I want to transform into construction lumber. So when it's on the ground, I can screw my jig to the chainsaw blade and cut another 6x6. But I didn't just cut wood. I took one hour to go fishing and cut a pike. As usual, I release it. Maybe I'll be able to catch it again someday. But I still have more trees to cut. Okay, I'm better at cutting six by sixes than making the trees fall where I want them to. I also had the chance to get my hand on nice birch logs. But since they're too heavy to move around for Rene and I, I need to get rid of the bark. Okay, even though they are now square, they still weigh a lot. 
but since I can bring them home right now, I cover them with some sheets of metal roofing. We also cover the 6x6s I made. And as promised, I'm going to talk about my jig. As a matter of fact, it's quite simple. A guide and something to swivel the chainsaw. I had this piece bent at a metal shop, so a 2x4 can slide inside, just like that. Uh, but be careful, the guy bent it too wide. I can't use a 2x4. I need to rip a 2x6. But he did a super job bending this U shape. Look how easy it is to put it over the blade. Then I just have to screw it in place. I always tighten one screw super tight and the other one just a bit. Just enough so this won't move. I welded a piece of file inside one side. On the other side, it's just two threaded holes for some bolts. There's a bolt welded on the other side of the file. This is the pivot of the jig. On the base, you can see that I've welded two nuts. Uh, but I only use one of them. I've welded two because I was afraid that the weld would break. But that never happened. By the end, I've drilled and welded three nuts for some gripping bolts. But I lost all of them and I don't have any left at the cottage. In fact, it's supposed to block the jig when cutting. As you saw, it's working even without them. Now that this jig has no secrets for you anymore, you can just build your own. This will be very useful to make 6x6s at your cottage or anywhere else. One day you'll see what I intend to do with all this wood. But until then, don't forget to come back to the woodpecker!